Hey, this is Brian from DisableMyCable.com and today I wanted to do a quick video to show you guys my DVR setup. Uh, I'm using the Tableau DVR here and I'm on a ladder in front of my linen closet because I wanted to show it to you and show you where I put it. Uh, now if you don't know, the Tableau is a, a broadcast TV DVR. So it can record shows that you get from your antenna and you can watch them later on using a Roku, uh, Amazon Fire TV stick, or browser, uh, or your phone. There's an also a, a phone, phone apps for it. The cool thing though is that it lets you put your Tableau and all this ugliness anywhere you want within Wi-Fi range uh, in your house. So it doesn't need to be right next to your TV. And so that's one of the reasons why I've put it up here. Uh, there's another important reason uh, I've put it up here as well, which I'll get to later. But for now, um, let me just show you the hookup. Okay, so this is my setup uh, for the Tableau DVR inside my linen closet. Uh, this black box is the Tableau. This box over here is my external hard drive. Uh, they're both uh, connected to this power strip. And that's the power supply back there for the hard drive. They're connected together by this black USB cable right here. And then the Tableau is connected to my antenna through this white coax cable right here. So it's a pretty um, simple setup. Um, the only caveat I have is I try to keep my coax cable away from all this electronic stuff. And I guess if I was even more careful, I could put this, this power supply you know, somewhere else even further away. But this seems to work fine, so I'm just going to leave it. But like I said, the nice thing is that all this ugliness is not on my uh, coffee table in my living room. It's in a closet, and it doesn't have to be connected to my TV. The white cable is uh, goes to my antenna, and let's see where it goes. I'm using an indoor Mohu Leaf antenna, and I'll have links to all this stuff uh, in the description. But let's just follow that cable, because um, the cable goes out of my closet, goes up, up. And you can't see it here, but it, it bends over, and I'm gonna have to get off this ladder. And it goes to, what is this? It goes to a skylight. Now, I'm using my skylight because I don't have an attic. This is a condominium, and there is no attic access here. And uh, of course, I could do a rooftop antenna, but why bother with that when I have something that's as good as an attic? This skylight goes through what would have been an attic. So I've basically just tacked on, literally thumbtacked on a Mohu Leaf antenna, and it's just like having a uh, attic antenna. But I don't have an attic, and I didn't have to uh, put an antenna on the roof, and I get over 150 channels here in Los Angeles using this setup. Now, a lot of those are foreign language, and I only you know use a fraction of, of those. But it's still pretty cool that um, I can get so many channels using this setup and I didn't have to crawl through my attic. I didn't have to run uh, many uh, tens of feet of coax cable through my place. I just have basically, I think that's about six feet of coax uh, going to a skylight. So let's go downstairs and see how many channels I got. All right, I'm downstairs at my TV. I'm using my Roku right now, and I'm going to go to the Tableau app. And that shows my channel guide, showing all of the channels that I've selected. Like I said, I get over 150 channels using my Skylight Mohu Leaf antenna. But I've only selected a fraction of them here because a lot of those channels are foreign language or things I'm not interested in, but this gets me all of the networks, the major networks, uh, all of the local channels that are available in my area, and PBS. So it's pretty much everything you could expect and everything you, you would want from a uh, broadcast TV antenna. It's not too bad. It's got a nice channel guide. There is an extra cost for that, but it's worth it if you get the lifetime deal. That's CBS. 
this is NVC here. It does sometimes take a while to switch channels. But you can see that um, the picture does come in uh, perfectly fine. So there you go. I want to show you my recordings also. So these are the shows that I've recorded recently. And um, you can scroll through those. Another cool feature is that it'll show you the TV shows and movies available in the coming two weeks. So and it's, it's a kind of a Netflix style um, guide here. And I can just choose any one of these to record and it'll record them in the next two weeks, whether I'm watching TV or not, which is pretty cool. So a lot of these are older movies. Occasionally you get some uh, you know, really good oldies that, that you want to record. But it's, it's no, you know, it's, it's not going to be the latest blockbusters on here. But hey, it's free and uh, it just supplements your other... Um, streaming services if you have them and these are the TV shows here coming in the next two weeks and again I can record uh, one episode or every episode of the TV show and and view them later so it's it's pretty cool it's pretty convenient I'd hi highly recommend using a DVR if you uh, use an antenna uh, I like the Tableau but the Amazon Fire recast is also a great DVR if you if you're into the Amazon and Alexa and all that so there you go. I uh, hope this video was helpful to you. Check out my website, disablemycable.com, and thanks a lot.